Hello, in this video I want to show you step by step how to create basic main menu for our application in Qt Designer. I designed it to be responsive for screen size changing so you'll get extra insight how it's supposed to be done. In next section we'll create resources directory for our project and import pre-made CSS file. You will be introduced to styling Qt applications with CSS. So let's begin. Open our project that we created in previous video. Unfold forms directory and double click on main window.ui. It will open Qt Designer. First of all, we will have to delete pre-made Qt widgets located on main application. After it's done, resize main window screen to 1200 width and 720 height. The whole process of creating graphical user interface is very basic. Everything amount to drag and drop items from left sidebar. First put vertical layout box and drop some buttons of our main menu inside it. Then drag and drop label for warning text in case of empty name box. Drop line edit box for player name. And label for game title. Change buttons title to related to game main menu. Delete text label from warning label and change game title to Snake 3D. Align game title to center of box. To stretch elements and spread them a little bit, we will use vertical spacers. Now change names of elements to more unambiguous. After we done that, set our main layout to horizontal and add horizontal spacers on both sides of our menu to tighten it a little bit. Backbone of our menu is ready. To test it out, click F9 button on your keyboard. Check responsivity by resizing window. Now let's move to create our resources directory. To do that click on file, then new file or project. In files and classes click on Qt and Qt resource file. Next click choose. Set name to resources and click next. Uncheck git, we don't need it right now and click finish. Directory was created. Click on it and add new prefix.
Let's call it Styling. Now create resources folder and simple text file inside your project directory. Change it extension to CSS and name it Stylesheet. Go back to Qt Creator and click on Add Files and add newly created CSS file to our project. To make it available in our project, we must add extra including line to project configuration file. Open snake3d.pro file, scroll to the bottom and write dist files, which stands for destination files. Must be all in capital letters. Write symbols plus, equals and backslash. In next line write resources backslash stylesheet.css and push Ctrl plus S keys combination to save. Notice that other files folder appears in files tree view. Unfortunately, this is not everything what has to be done. Next step is to include this file from our source code. Open main.cpp file. To open stylesheet file, we must first create QFile object with our CSS file path and second bring open method on with pass it read only flag as a parameter. Now let's save the whole file content into QString object. Create QString object and assign QLatin first string object with the whole file content passed as a parameter. Last thing to do is to attach this stylesheet to our main application. We do this by bringing setStylesheet method on of application object with our QString object passed by. At the end include QFile class to make it available to our source code. Right now we are ready to style our application from external file. Quick note here, usually we should check if file was opened and also close file after whole process but we are sure that file was located in correct directory and also we don't have to close it because it will close automatically with application. Note, we have to change here to capital letter. Ok, so let's back to our CSS file. First of all we will set a background gradient color to nice kind of almonds color. To do this we have to write a name of Qt widget object, in this case is QMain window. Next we put curly braces and type background colon and Qt gradient syntax QLinear gradient. In brackets we put first type of color spread, in this case we use spread colon pad. Next set color spread directions which is x1 to 0, y1 to 1 x2 to 1 and y2 to 0. Next type stop colon 0 which is left bottom corner. Next color in this corner we will set in RGBA color representation which stands for values from 0 to 255 mixed by color red, green and blue. Last letter means alpha channel. We use this parameter to set color transparency. Now we set right upper corner, we type stop colon 1 and completely white color in RGBA representation.
Now it's time to style our main menu buttons. Type selector Q push button which represents all of our buttons. It's enough to create just one rule to all of our buttons. First let's set padding. If you are not familiar with CSS, padding spreading distance between inner text and the whole box border. 8 pixels are set to make a space above and under the text, 12 pixels stands for left and right. Next we will set a border to 1 pixel width, solid line and color in RGBA representation. To curve our box border corners, type border radius with 12 pixels value. At the end let's set a font of the text and its size. Next we will set so called pseudo states for our buttons. First pseudo state is hover. It activates when you hover over button element. When you will hover let's change background of element to brighter. Second let's set next pseudo state which is activating while you pressing buttons. This time copy the same background declaration, but set less transparency. Afterwards it's time to style our player name, line edit box. To do that we use QLine edit selector. Use declarations to change background, font size and its family. Next set border radius and border itself, similarly as before but with more transparency value. Smaller numbers mean less visibility of element. At the end we will style our game label to bring more exposure to it. In this case besides QLabel selector we have to use QSS syntax to point on individual element. We do this by typing hash after selector and QLabel element name. In this case we will just set font size to 52 pixels and font family same as the rest of elements. We are almost ready. Last thing to do is to center line edit cursor and change cursor's type to pointers while hovering over buttons. Go back to Qt Designer and change those parameters. And voila! Main menu of our Qt Snake 3D application is done. Check out responsivity of this menu and in next video I will show you how to handle and program application events.